three innovations which rules above the competition to take first prize. So we'll meet Josh, Emily and Baron. Very good morning to all three of you. How are you? Congratulations, yeah. by the way. I think we've got the, these are the awards actually here, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, jo Josh, do you want to kick us off? Uh, now yours, you invented a, th a, a flat pack 3D printer. Is that yeah. right? Now, I think if we look down the front here, you could, this is obviously fully constructed. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But how do you I mean, what, tell us, talk us through the idea. Uh, yeah, so I wanted to make it as kind of really, really cheap. So I was planning to pursue it as a commercial uh, project on Kickstarter. So I want it to be A, really cheap, which is why I use the arms instead of the traditional way of using linear rails, which is quite expensive. Um, and it, it's also flat pack like, as a result. So it packs down to the size of around a pizza box and then you build it up in about 20 minutes. When you say cheap, how much w does it or would it sell for? Uh, it would sell for 79 to 99 in rough, that rough price range. So yeah, have a look on the internet. Um, and what type of things can you print out, print from it? Uh, some examples here, so it's got a 19 by 19 by 17 uh, centimetre build volume, so just anything that fits within that out yeah. of plastic you, you, can, you can print. And we should just point out at this point, you're 18, aren't mm. you? Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, to be developing things like this, where did you get the idea from? What made you do it? Uh, oh, well, I've been building 3D printers since, since I was 13, so it's just been natural progression, really. It's been over five years, obviously, I've learned, I've learned a lot, so... Yeah, good on you, and it's got you the really. title of UK Young Engineer, so yeah, well yeah, done for I'm that. Yeah, yeah, really proud of that. Really so, the big one Emily, tell us about yourself. You've um, got a new scientist title, haven't you? Tell us what you've won yeah. and what it so, was for. So, um, I won UK Young Scientist of the Year. Um, it was for my project, which is based around separating mirror image molecules. Um, this is really important in the drug industry because drugs are made up of these mirror images, and when both of these mirror images are present in our body, one mirror image can react in one way and the other mirror image can react in a different way. This can either be inefficient or potentially dangerous. An example of how it can be inefficient is the drug ibuprofen, where only one of the mirror images react to reduce pain. So my project was using a separation technique with a material called a metal organic framework. It's a relatively new material. Um, and it has the potential to make the whole process of separating these mirror images um, in a more effective and cheaper way. Emily, can I ask you, I mean, clearly you know your stuff and it's very <laughs> impressive. Take us back a little bit in yeah. your own story. When was the moment that when, you know, science or engineering or whatever it is, when was the moment when it, you knew that was the thing for you? When was that? Um, well, it was, I was actually watching the news and I saw, um, it was covering a story in Manchester where uh, um, these professors and their research group had created a graphene oxide membrane mm. that was able to filter water. Um, and I just learned in my lessons that the current issues with water purification today, they use a distillation technique which uses lots of energy. And this membrane could potentially um, revolutionise water purification because it'd be a lot cheaper and easier well, to access. Uh, uh, Brian, tell us a little bit about what, what you did. I actually read what it was oh, and I couldn't, fantastic. to be honest, understand it. Tell us, because this, this is to do with emergency responses, is that yeah. right? So actually I was inspired by the events at Grenfell to create this application. And so how it works is it simply connects users in complex buildings with authorities such as firefighters. So and this is an app, is yeah, that right? Yeah, so it's a mobile application. And actually then it allows users to simply launch the application and evacuate the building to the nearest exit. Um, and it, it can also function in, uh, for example, uh, I'm working for it to function in smoke and uh, other sorts of applications. And, and that won you the title of UK Junior Engineer, yeah. didn't it? I mean, how did it feel to win that? I mean, it was an amazing experience. Uh, the Big Bang definitely, uh, definitely was an amazing experience. Um, I learned quite a lot from it. Uh, and seeing all the other projects, it was uh, amazing. Yeah. I wish we could talk to you for longer because yeah. yeah. your, your brains are amazing. Congratulations, <laughs> and we will look out for you because I'm yeah. no doubt there will be more in the future. Thank you yeah. very much. Thank you very Thank much, you. guys. Thanks. Cheers. That's all from breakfast tomorrow. Back tomorrow, of course, at uh, 6 in the morning. Yes. We'll leave you with a view of HMS Belfast on the Thames. So enjoy that and have a lovely day.